the minimum wage has been destructive of young people, particularly black youngsters, but uh, yet uh, uh, we're criticized and the people who support a minimum wage, uh, the intellectuals who support it, are shown to be uh, compassionate and caring. Uh, that's right. In fact, Mac, the last year uh, in which uh, black unemployment was lower than white unemployment was the year before the first minimum wage law, which, as you well know, was the Davis-Bacon Act. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And, the da- and for, for those out there uh, who don't know the Davis-Bacon Act, the Davis-Bacon Act is a, is, a, uh, is a law that says that on all federal construction projects, the prevailing wage must be paid, and the prevailing wage is always interpreted, I think, illegally by the Labor Department as being the union wage or higher. And the purpose, actually, Tom, the the stated purpose of the Davis-Bacon Act that was written in March 31st in 1931, the stated purpose was to protect white workers, for, uh, construction workers, from having to compete with uh, uh, lower-wage uh, black construction workers. Oh, absolutely. And very similar things happened in uh, Canada in the 20s when they passed minimum wage laws to keep uh, white workers from having to uh, compete against the Japanese uh, workers. And as you also well know, in South Africa uh, earlier earlier in the, in the uh, century. That, oh, that's absolutely right. Matter of fact, in South Africa, I wrote a book called South Africa's War Against Capitalism, and I give quotation after quotation of racist unions in South Africa uh, being the major supporters of minimum wage laws for blacks. And they, matter of fact, they call it the, uh, uh, the civilized workers. Yes, <laughs> that's absolutely right. And so, so uh, they recognized that if they could raise the wage. Uh, contractors would hire white workers instead of uh, black workers. Yeah, it, 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 the, the minimum wage law is essentially is very similar to a, a, a tariff on international trade. That is, you, the purpose of a tariff is to raise your competitors' prices uh, to the point where you price them out of the market. And that's exactly the same thing with the minimum wage, that uh, you, you, weigh, you raise the, the, the price of low-wage labor to the point where people won't hire them and therefore the higher wage laborers of benefit. Yes, right. And and you mean tell me, uh, you know, there are other examples of this, that is uh, uh, American labor unions and as well uh, intellectuals, uh, they support environmental laws in India, environmental laws in many uh, uh, underdeveloped countries. <laughs> and, and why? To raise the cost of doing business with them. Well, yes. And, well, of course, they, 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 are, they, are, they are non-discriminatory. They want to raise these costs uh, everywhere they possibly can. Uh, the, the, the real problem is that they don't see these things in terms of trade-offs. They arbitrarily pick something that they call a good thing, and they pay no attention to the cost of that good thing, either in money or in terms of all the other good things that are going to be harmed by putting in whatever they happen to be in favor of. 